so much. August is National Breastfeeding Awareness Month, and experts say COVID is not a reason to stop. In today's Once for Wellness, what new moms need to know about breastfeeding, COVID, and the vaccine. The benefits of breastfeeding. So with a baby, you get protection against ear infections, allergies, asthma, um, some cancers. Create a lengthy list. Even decrease. Uh, chances of obesity and diabetes. Valencia Moore is a registered nurse and lactation consultant supervisor with Parkland. Besides the benefits for babies, she says nursing also helps out moms. The one thing that we don't talk enough about is the protection that mom gets. Um, so it's so good for the mother as well. And so moms would get protection against breast cancer, ovarian cancer, again, some leukemias. Um, some of them who are already diabetic can. Um, sometimes decrease the amount of insulin or medication that they're taking because they are breastfeeding. They can decrease the amount of postpartum hemorrhage. I'm not sure if you've heard of that where women tend to bleed out because the uterus during breastfeeding contracts and, and um, decreases the chance of bleeding. They lose anywhere from 500 to 700 calories a day just from breastfeeding alone. And so it helps them get back to their pre-pregnancy weight. When it comes to COVID-19, she says there's no reason to stop. We know that mom will produce antibodies against whatever she's been infected with. And that's regardless if it's COVID or a cold or the flu or whatever. So, um, so the baby um, can get those antibodies in the breast milk. And so it is encouraged to continue to breastfeed, um, but to provide, of course, the hand hygiene and the respiratory hygiene so mom can still wear a mask. Um, since the baby was so close to her. And if you're considering the vaccine, the CDC says while studies haven't been done specifically on breastfeeding moms, based on how the vaccines work, there's not thought to be a risk. Most medications do not pass through that uh, milk barrier um, because of the molecules of the medication being too large to pass through. So most medications are okay with breastfeeding. There are a few out there that are, you know, breastfeeding is contraindicated, but for the most part, with this vaccine, as far as I know, it is okay to continue to breastfeed. Recent reports have also shown those with the mRNA vaccines have antibodies in their breast milk, which could help protect their babies. And the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine recommends that all breastfeeding individuals get a COVID-19 vaccine. Moore also says to take the time to do some skin-to-skin -skin contact as well. What happens is that mom's body will heat up one to two degrees in order to keep the baby at a good temperature. And that's remarkable. When you place those two bodies together, the skin talks to each other. And so the baby's heart rate, respiratory rate, the temperature all stabilizes. And so it is really good to hold the baby's skin to skin. Um, mom releases oxytocin, which is one of the hormones that's needed for milk production, but it's also one of the strongest hormones for bonding.